Hey guys, I got some old lumber here that we actually had in storage outside. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this up here, turn it to a uh, workbench. I'm actually getting my saw horses and everything set up here. So um, I'm going to go ahead, and these are old decking boards is what they are. So what I'm going to do is they have nails in them. So I'm going to uh, go ahead and get the nails taken out of these here. As you can see, got some nails here. And um, I'm going to take these, remove the nails, and um, they got round, smooth round edges on them here because they're decking boards. So what I want to do is I want to take these and square them up. And I'm not sure I'm going to do that. I'm either going to use my uh, uh, circular saw or I might try to use my router table. I haven't got to try it yet. I'm going to guess use probably use my router table to run these down the side there. I'm going to try to sand all these boards down a bit, get this old uh, grime and some dirt and stuff off of them. But go ahead and do that and uh, hopefully I'll be able to get myself a nice workbench out of these. Uh, I'm thinking about four foot long possibly and uh, looking at these other boards and stuff over here um, I'm thinking it'll probably turn out pretty nice in the end. Alright guys I am back here giving you guys an update on my workbench that I am currently working on. A little bit. But as you can see right now I'm actually working on here laying out my legs by uh, bringing them here and as you can see I'm laying them about 36 inches and 3 feet and make sure I get them all straight. I'm lining them up down here at the bottom and I've made sure I've got them nice and level and square and everything. And I'm just going to cut them straight across up here. These were actually eight boards. I cut them in half. And these here, you can see, are three foot. And I actually took these boards up here. This is the original uh, larger board here. And I actually got these laid out properly as well. And to make sure I got both the same size, I took this strip here, as you guys can see, and I actually cut that off of this larger board right here because it was actually a bigger board and I actually cut that down and shrank it up a bit and uh, sanded them down and some stuff like that but as you guys can see my uh, workbench is starting to come along and it is All right, I'm currently in the process of cutting out my metal section. Just made me a nice clean cut across here. And as you can see, I'm using clamps so I get everything lined up perfectly because I'm going to just do it across. And I have the clamps so I can use them. It just seems simpler that way for me since, um, you know, I'm not an experienced woodworker. So it's just easier for me to use clamps and everything. But uh, waste is starting to build up. I'm starting to get the project done. And yeah. Hopefully um, I can go ahead and start assembling what I already have done here in a few minutes. I have my boards over here finished and I uh, just sanded down all these uh, big boards here. This one board over here, it's crooked. So uh, got all these boards here sanded. I'm going to go ahead and start putting this workbench together and uh, hopefully this turns out. So I uh, only got like uh, two nails per corner, things like that. So uh, really need to add more nails and things like that to the workbench. But overall, it turned out really nice. I'm very happy, very pleased with it. And um, yeah, how I built this out of complete scrap lumber. It's nice, sturdy. Uh, and uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully, you guys might decide to uh, recycle your old lumber and build something nice like that.